the time changed, so I feel very wonky. I just want to lay in bed all day, if I'm being honest. All this packing. I feel like I'm not even making a dent somehow, and I have only a couple days till moving day. So, I don't know, I'm gonna lay here for another minute. Time to let Loki out. I'm not making my bed today. I kind of feel like because I'm moving, I just don't, I just don't feel like, you know, dealing with a task that I guess in the grand scheme of things doesn't really matter in this week. So now I'm gonna wake up the rest of the house and especially on a darker rainy day, that definitely means lamps. So get that on. Oh, what a stretch. We'll get some junk journaling on YouTube. I'm actually gonna watch some of my older vlogs um, I was just like thinking about Loxy last night and I just want to watch some of those vlogs. I guess I didn't start grouping my vlogs into months in my playlist until December of 2021. Um, so I definitely need to go back and try to create the proper p playlist, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to do February with Loki. So I'm just going to watch my February 2022 vlogs, which have this handsome baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'll work on finding my other vlogs and grouping them appropriately so that I can, you know, watch a little bit of Loxy every now and then if I need to. This is so cute. It's five dollars. The only thing is I like a bright red. I don't like a maroon color. But it does give it more vintage vibe. Hmm. I'm gonna think about that, but I really I think I do want that. This is a pencil. These are really cool. Design of vinyl. And it says it includes three markers. Oh, they're in there. Okay, I was like, well, where are the markers? That is so cool. You got Yoda, Minnie Mouse. I thought I saw Paw Patrol. Yeah, Paw Patrol. That is crazy. Oh, these are all the ones. They have the Easter greeting cards handmade. They're a dollar. Let's see if there's any cute ones. That one's cute. Uh -oh. That's cute. Let's get that one. Oh, you already know I'm getting that one. That's actually super cute oh my god that's precious um yeah 
That's actually really beautiful. Let's do that one. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Look at these giant coloring books. It includes stickers too. Like, wow. Gotta check out the stickers. See if I want it <laughs> just for that. They're cute, but I'll pass. These look new. I'm gonna get the women's. Focus. Yeah, good boy. Good morning guys i've done somewhat of a morning routine i didn't even turn my lamps on today but i got all the windows and blinds opened turned the outside lights off and i am i've just did a body shower um of course did my usual braid i need to color my hair so i'm wearing even more hats um because of my grays but i threw on this navy sweatshirt which is from amazon these shorts, which are from Amazon, but they come with like a matching sweater. I'm just not wearing it. And then my Nike, my Nike Air Max 90s, I think. And one of my favorite hats. And that's it. That's what I'm wearing. I'm heading off to Home Goods this morning. Okay, I'm at Home Goods this morning. I want to get a couple things for the new house so let's see what we can't find i want to get loki some new blankets i'll talk about that system in a minute but i'm eager to get in there i'm not gonna get any mugs unless of course you know they're just to die for but let's go really well wait till you guys see it the house tour is coming sometime this week so $24.99 oh my gosh okay I'm also looking for some black and white like striped mm, this is beach towel and this is a little too aggressive but I'm looking for something similar to that for my couch I'll throw up a picture just to kind of show you what I'm envisioning, but this is really pretty. This is like random, but really pretty. I like that. Um, the blankets are definitely looking like, I don't know, they just look different this year. Like a lot of like very interesting patterns. See, I like this. I just wish it was black and white. That's not bad. <clears throat> well, there's this, but it's not really the pattern that I want. Love those. Wow, these are so cool. A large one, but they're like inside of each other. Is this? this large one's 200 the medium one's 179 and the small one's 999 wow i've never seen anything like that okay this is adorable why why do i find that adorable oh my god if i was into this style i would get that and i would use it as a headboard for like a full bed 
How much was it? Um, wow. All right, we're gonna call this the Loki home. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out, take you back to the house. Getting hydrated out here. Hang on, didn't catch it. This part's gross. Come on, let's get to the park. You can go to the dog park? He used to remember that word. You can't tell me those sounds aren't top notch. The birds, the ducks, the wind. This way. I don't know. Look at this water, Loki. Loki. Can you get some water? Can you get some water? You can even give him a bath. So where is it? Good morning, guys. Today is the last night. Not the last day, but today is the last night that Mike and I are sleeping in this house because we move tomorrow. I did overlap both homes, so in a way I'm paying, not in a way, I am paying double rent for a bucket of time. Obviously, <clears throat> to make sure I get everything out of this house and have time to have the cleaners come in, because girl, <laughs> I'm not letting them keep that deposit. No, no, I've been here for five months. No, no. Um, so, um, so yeah, tonight's our last night. The movers come tomorrow. And I am just, while I, yes, I am nervous because I don't like moving day, but a lot of you gave me some really great tips on my, on the video when I announced I was moving. A lot of you gave me some really good tips for moving day. One person said, I, you know, have something to pack just to kind of like keep you busy. And I thought that was a great idea. Let me grab a little thing. Um, and as you can see, I just got out of the shower. My hair's wet. I'm not applying any heat today. So yes, we're gonna go for the signature braid that I seem to always be doing these days. And I'm sitting here. I thought, y'all, I thought it was noon. I've been sluggish. I have stuff to do today. I thought it was noon. I looked 2.30. I'm sorry. So that surprised me. So I'm recovering from that surprise. And I took a shower, trying to do my skincare, still trying to keep somewhat of a routine going, even though I feel like I just feel disgusting. Just the house is in shambles in the sense of moving stuff everywhere. It doesn't feel organized. It's hard to be organized when stuff like beds are still put together and uh, I don't know. So I'm feeling a little scattered, but you know, we're just gonna try to power through it. Here is how moving day is going to go. So as much as I wanted it to be different, this is just how it's worked out. 
I don't get keys until tomorrow morning and tomorrow is moving day. Um, and I also have my internet scheduled to be installed because I can't have any gaps in my internet because obviously I need it for work. Micah is actually going to be the one that is going to the new house because she has actually not seen the house. She's seen pictures of it, but she's never walked in it. And so she hasn't even technically like picked her room. Um, so there's that. Now at the end of the day, I guess it kind of doesn't matter because you know, she has her own personal goals and when she's gonna live on her own. But you know, um, to speak to that, she's an only child and there's never a rush. Like if you can stay home with your parents and save money, that's like a super smart thing to do. So, um, so anyways, aside from that, Mike is actually gonna be the one that's going to the house for multiple reasons. And she's also gonna film the house tour for me because ever since I saw it, I haven't, I haven't been able to access the house. So, um, so I actually haven't seen the house since I walked through it the first time. And actually I thought about vlogging. I was like, oh, let me vlog all the houses I'm looking at. How many houses did I look at? I looked at a bunch online. I walked two, actually. I walked two houses and this one, I call it the blue house, you'll see why. But this, the blue house I walked first and then I walked a second property and the re and actually I was gonna go with the second one and the second one was another big house. It was actually just like this. It was the same builder because it was almost identical in a way. And I almost went with that house. I mean, I really think this was like kind of God leading me the way here, but I didn't end up picking this house because I asked about the, the owners. I was like, what's going on here? And the story on them was that they moved to Houston and that they were gonna be gone for sure one year. And I said, oh no. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of this going on. I think it's just because of the housing market. And that, that's the only thing I can think of because I'm like, wow, this is happening a lot. People are not really selling and at least not here as much in Dallas. And it's just definitely seems like, oh no, no, I walked three houses. My apologies. I walked three houses. The first one was in this neighborhood. And okay, actually, let's do a chatty. Let me tell you guys all the tea. I hope you're okay with me kind of going back and forth so that I can lean in further into the mirror. But let's talk about the first house. Yeah, I saw a total of three houses and the first house was in this neighborhood. And what's funny is before I even got word, anyways, before I even got word that I was basically being kicked out of this house. And if you didn't see my, I'm being kicked out video on my main channel, I'll link it down below. It'll explain everything. But before I got word about getting kicked out, um, I was walking Loki and saw that house and saw that it was up for rent. And I was like, oh, what a, what a lovely house. And whatever, I thought nothing of it. Then I was like, the irony. And I was like, this might be perfect. It's right here. We don't, we love the area. The only, but when I walked it, the biggest problem was that there were several rooms missing in terms of what I already had furniture for. And I didn't want to get rid of my furniture. I also didn't want to find myself getting a storage unit because while yes, I'm renting, I do want to rent for a while at this point. I don't, let me have two Christmases. Hell, let me have three Christmases in one single spot. That's, that's what I'm trying to achieve. I'll think about buying another house later. But, um, so anyways, I, I see this house, it has no media room. So I'm like, well, I have media room furniture. It also doesn't have a formal dining room. I'm getting a call. 
It also has a, it doesn't have a formal dining room. And I'm like, oh no, oh no. And, you know, and because I don't want to see myself move, I don't want to have to lose that space. And so unfortunately that house was simply out of the running. Then I see the second house, the blue house, which is the current house. Now, the, what's interesting about this house, and you'll see in the house tour, is that at first, I was just like, mm, um, I loved it. It actually reminded me of my construction house that I lost, but it wasn't a two story. And I really, really like two stories. The first house wasn't a two story either. So it, that had that going against it. But the blue house had all the rooms. It has a media room. So I wasn't going to have to get rid of furniture. Um, I am just messing up the tea so bad. Back to the first house. Those owners as well had moved. I think they went to Austin um, from what I was told and that they were an older couple. I mean, the house was immaculate. <laughs> the house was, was built in the same year as this one and this one looks like it's like, it's been lived in, you know what I mean? This house was just immaculate. I will say the first house was immaculate. So clean, so beautiful. The landscaping was gorgeous. There was like a little shed in the back. Like it was truly, truly such a great house. But again, it didn't have the formal dining room. It didn't have the second floor and it didn't have the media room. And it had the owner situation. They were moving to Austin, but they, you know, wanted to obviously keep a hold of their house to move back. And I was like, mm, girl, no, I am too triggered by this right now. Now, obviously, like I said in that video, no matter which house I go into, there's always the risk of the owner wanting their house back and it's in the leases and there's nothing you can do. Because you know, at the end of the day, if they get into a hardship and they have to sell, they have to sell. Like, you know, but I am trying to reduce, reduce, I'm trying to reduce that risk as much as I can. So that first house combined with all that was out of the running. So then I see the blue house and it was a one story, but that's all it had against it was that it wasn't a two story like I liked. And um, the last one story I lived in, if you guys remember, was the house with the big windows and the neighbor who made all that noise. Who remembers that? Anywho. Um, so I see this house and I'm just like, okay, it's still kind of on the small side. The rooms were incredibly small they really are and yes even though micah does have her own personal goals it still is like oh they're just so tiny and i mean they're like a box so then i see the third house because blue house isn't a two-story rooms are super small but everything else was just gorgeous about it just gorgeous and anyways, um, so then I go see this third house. The third house is literally basically this one. It is the same builder, because I know. When I did a construction and I was doing that and getting involved in all that, you can tell. Once you do a new construction, you can tell. Um, because builders have like signature things. And so unless it's like a fully custom builder, you can tell like the cookie cutter builders because they only offer certain packages and certain types of doors and certain types of countertops, you know? You can't just like custom build with certain builders. So it is it is custom, but it's not like fully custom, if that makes sense. Like 
You can only choose from the brick that they have available and from the doors and the knobs and the ceiling fixtures like that, okay? So anyways, I could tell if this third house was a mirror of this house. It was in nicer condition, my personal opinion. Um, the, the landscaping was gorgeous. Whoever's been renting this house, they weren't even watering the lawn when I moved in. The, and it was the dead heat of summer. This lawn got zero, zero water. I mean, it was dead. The earth was cracked. It was just a mess. And that's just the landscaping. But anyways, I digress. So I see this house and I'm like, okay, it's the exact same, the same rooms, the same bathroom, amount of bathrooms. And um, it was more expensive than this house. And it was also in a part of, t of the town that is not me and Micah's favorite, I guess, because we have like certain walking trails and stuff that we really love. And this would actually put us way on the other side. Um, and, you know, we just like our little corner, basically. Like, it just makes us happy. And so that house had that going against it. It had the location going against it. And then when I asked about the owners, they, had, they were the ones that moved to Houston and they would for sure be gone a year. Matt, most likely to. I said, I said, absolutely not. Well, they'll, they'll be willing to sign a two-year lease. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I know what's going to go in that lease as a, as a stipulation. And uh, no, <laughs> no, absolutely not. So I backed out of that. And then I focused solely on the blue house. And it all just fell into place. And now when I look back at the blue house and the fact that it's a one story, the fact that the rooms are a little bit smaller, you know, in the grand scheme of things, if I do see myself here for a longer period of time, the smaller rooms won't really mean much later on. And actually having a one story will kind of be nice. Now I will say before Florida that I shouldn't have sold, I regret selling it, but here we are. I love that upstairs. If you guys remember my vlogs, I would go up there and we had the game room was our media room. I used to sleep up there all the time. You know, like I love the upstairs, but I never connected with the upstairs in the Florida house because obviously Micah used it as her room. And I, I think I can count on one hand how many times I've been in that media room. And that media room is nice. Like I will say that for this house, that media room is nice as hell. And I've just, I've, I just didn't connect. I don't know what it is about me and homes, but I have to connect to it. Um, or it just feels like a space I'm sleeping in. And while this has been super beautiful, I do see myself connecting with this house for sure. And it does have a media room. Um, <clears throat> and I think that there is a more professional, I think there's an investor involved in this house. Um, so I think the likelihood of a move request move out is probably a lot smaller. The owners who live there, <clears throat> you know, and love their house, I want to keep their house, you know, kind of thing. So, but you never know, this could happen in this house too. And there's nothing I can do. And if I have to move again, I have to move again. I'm trying not to think that way. But overall, looking back at this house, I'm like, this house is just going to be, it's just what I need. It's cheaper. It's still within the location. It's beautiful. And what one more, what more could I honestly ask for? Anyways, that's me getting ready for the day. I probably shouldn't be in a sweater, but this is my outfit. I'll just kind of like show you guys. Cause I actually really like it. Obviously very casual for me, but I love it. Got my Dustin sweatshirt. We've got on my blue waffle knit shorts, Dollar Tree socks, my New Balance shoes, I forget what these are called. And then I pulled out my Navy Nike hat. So th these letters are Navy, Navy, Navy. And that's that. I know this looks horrible, but Ugh, this is not the time for a tornado warning. There is a tornado. I don't even know why I'm out here looking at this window. I just need to get in this pantry. Micah says if it's her time, it's her time. I can't seem to get her down in here. It's not funny to me personally. Like, 
Come on, Loki. I had to move all the boxes in the garage that I had set up and organized. I know, I'm sorry, my tone is like, whew, I'm here right now. But I had organized everything and I had to move it all just to get our cars into the garage. That is not snow, that is hail. That is really bad hail, I would say. Um, golf ball size as big as some golf ball sizes out there but it's been reported baseball size so far I'm not seeing that here oh my god if it was it's definitely gonna total my my Lexus my older car because I pulled it out of the garage to put me in Micah's car my SUV and that but I don't know I'm kind of wondering if that was smart because my Lexus is paid off and you know <laughs> anyways whatever that probably makes no sense but all i would get is money for it. it's not like i can replace it i'd have to get another anyways uh my brain is fried and anyways so um yeah lo look at this look at this thank god i mowed thank god i went ahead and mowed because like there's no way i can mow this by Monday, it's like flooded.